Fest Style House, located at 1120 Guilford Court, McLean, Virginia. My name is Ali Farharov with Compass Real Estate. This style house is the embodiment of modern art and architecture, inspired by Pierre Mondrian and Frank Lloyd Wright. Let's go inside and enjoy this beautiful modern oasis. My name is Ahmad Krejci, and I'm Bob the Builder. At least that's what my kids call me. Is that good? <laughs> Throughout these years, uh, my passion has been to take people's dreams and visions and try to make it into their reality. And um, that's what we've been doing. Ahmad, when I met you first time, I fell in love with this property. Yeah. And you told me the story about how you fell in love with the Dutch art movement called The Style. Yeah. And we took from that uh, name, we took and we made our home, this home, named after the movement. Yeah. And you fell in love with how Mondrian's painting inspired you to build yeah. this home. Tell us why and how you ended up with this beautiful piece of art. Yeah, I mean, the easy way to summarize this is um, we didn't go to the moon because it was easy. We chose to go there because it was hard, right? Absolutely. So when we wanted to do a design that's unique, in line with modern clean lines, minimalistic look, contemporary style, we felt the most beautiful representation of that is Piet Mondrian art. So we took that concept and implemented it into the facade of the house and took that inspiration into different elements within the house, you know, from shelving to uh, closet doors designs and took that inspiration throughout the rest of, of the home. Uh, we loved that asymmetric lines Look, what, what a great marriage to have that art into the house. It took about a year from start to finish to construct this house. And man, um, if I say challenging, that's, um, that doesn't give it justice, you know? We literally had to build this house backward. We had to break all the rules in construction and figure out different techniques and different ways to be able to work with delayed items and uh, missing parts and, and just the hectic of the pandemic. You know, so for us to be able to deliver on this was a miracle, to say the least. 
this staircase, the helical staircase, were six months delayed. So we couldn't stop the project. So what we had to do is plan on continuing to finish the house. And when the stairs come, we had to assemble the stairs outside the house, plan for a way to bring the stairs inside, measure to the fraction of an inch the location of these stairs, finish the hardwood around it, drywall around the areas, and create an opening for where the skylight that goes on top of the staircase and have that opening removable so that when the staircase come, we can drop them down and not to mention the challenge of how do you lift unbalanced structure that looks like a DNA, you know, and, and to try to balance it and make it plump. You know, the, the, the thinking and how many people and, and the effort going through this, it just was beyond belief. Ahmad, um, let's talk about individual elements of the home that I fell in love the day one that you took me and Sharif for a tour. Yeah. Um, namely, let's talk about the, the fireplace. Yeah. First of all, the fireplace itself uh, was made to order. Uh, the fireplace is 2,000 pounds. It, this is the type of fireplace that you see in luxury hotels, and that's why you, you've never seen it in residential scale. We use the same brick that was used outside, brought it in. Uh, we took the same technique from the Shushugiban siding, where they burned the wood, and we played with it uh, to mimic that look on the outside. Tell us more about why you felt why you felt the need of introducing some of the old wood and the elements of the old home into this new home. I think each one of us is responsible, ha have a responsibility towards sustainability. Um, I wish I could have salvaged every single piece of that old house, uh, but unfortunately, life doesn't work that way. Um, and we just try to do our part as much as we can, you know. Um, two trees on the property that had to be removed. Um, I did not like the idea of just trashing these trees. Um, so I had them cut, sent them to a sawmill, created a hardwood floor. What did you end up with? You ended up with a connection between the space and the, the house, right? The beautiful character this, this tree gave you, unlike what you would typically buy in a, in a store, right? There are so many other things that we did the same thing. Uh, another, the other tree was maple tree that we used in shelving in, for the fireplace, um, uh, accent walls. There, there's just so many places where we were happy to be able to reuse, including the most important space is the living room seal, you know? That's where uh, we, we use this, this element, not just as a decoration, but as a structure. We, they are literally what's holding the roof. So we repurpose them in, in, a, in a way that's not just beautiful, but also meaningful, you know? I want to talk about this kettle. Previous owners of this property found this kettle when they were digging the backyard and they gifted it to our client and it's now displayed here 
It is a Civil War era kettle that was found in the property. Behind me here, 16 TV is stitched together to create this incredible wall. We call it TV wall. One of the unique applications in residential homes. What an incredible story. What an amazing home. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Subscribe to our channel and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you.